All right, welcome to the mini lesson on the identification of shapes. These types of tr problems give kids more trouble than any other problem, probably all the other problems put together. Such a tricky type of problem for kids. One of the biggest difficulties is the word rectangle. That, for some reason, gives kids all kinds of trouble. So we're going to get into the word rectangle today. I'm going to show you how to show you work on these types of problems, the steps that you go through. I'm going to have you try uh, one problem on your own, which is a big problem. I'm going to show you how to do the first problem. We're going to do this one together. This page does have a printout that looks exactly like you see on the video that you can go to uh, the folder that has uh, math help stuff, stuff there. You can click on that and print out this page so you can do it along with me on the video. All right, the steps are right down here below of how you do the shape problems. First, we're going to cross, cross out using an X all non polygons, shapes with curves or openings. So I look at this first shape and I say, does that have a curve or an opening? No, it doesn't. Does this one have a curve or an opening? Yes, it does. Everybody cross that shape out. When I say cross it out, I don't mean put a little tiny X on it. I want you to cross it out completely. Let's look at this next shape here. Does this one have any curves or openings? doesn't have any openings. These are not considered to be curves. Those are just straight edges that aren't as big as the other sides, okay? So we're not going to cross that out. This has no curves or openings, no curves or openings, no curves or openings. This shape right here has all kinds of curves on it. We're going to cross that shape out. No curves, no curves. This shape has some curves. Cross it out. No curves or openings, no curves or openings, no curves or openings. Okay, the rest of the shapes are all polygons. So if you're being asked for polygons, even if you're not being asked for polygons, still cross out the shapes that are not polygons to start. But if you are being asked for polygons, do not write P on any of the polygons. Just count the shapes that are not crossed out. Let me repeat that because I've told kids that a million times and they still write P's all over the polygons. Do not P on the polygons. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 shapes that are left that are polygons. So everybody write a 10 right here next to polygons. The next step down here below, it says write a letter on all shapes you are being asked to identify. And it gives you some ideas for what to write on those shapes. So we're going to go through the shapes here. Quadrilaterals, you can put a Q, or you can even put the number 4 because it has four sides on quadrilaterals. Remember, quadrilaterals is any shape that has four sides that we did not cross out. You better count the sides because kids always miss a certain type of quadrilateral. I'm counting the sides. One, two, three, four. That shape has four sides. I'm going to put a Q on that. Let's go to this next one. Some kids think this has four sides. It doesn't. Look, one, two, three, four. But what about these two little sides? Five and six. That's not a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not a quadrilateral either. One, two, three, four. That is a quadrilateral. It has four sides. One, two, three, four. This is the shape so many kids miss as being a quadrilateral. That has four sides on it. It doesn't have to be open and look like a box to be a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four. That's a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four. That is a quadrilateral. That has three sides. It's not one, two, three, four. Quadrilateral, one, two, three, four. Quadrilateral. Now let's count all our cues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven quadrilaterals. Parallelograms always throw kids off. Parallelograms have to be parallel across from each other and parallel across from each other here. It can be a rectangle because these are parallel and these are parallel. It can be a square, parallel, parallel. It can be a shape that's kind of slanty looking like this because this is parallel to this and this is parallel to that. It cannot be a shape that does this. This one's parallel to this one, but this one and this one are not parallel. They would run into each other right down here. So where are parallelograms? Is this side parallel to that side? Yes. Is this one parallel to that one? Yes, that's a parallelogram, so I put a double L on there. How about this one? Parallel here, like railroad tracks. Parallel here, that's a parallelogram. How about that one here? This side, this side and this side are parallel. They would never touch each other, but this side is not parallel to that side. They would meet like right up in here if we kept going. So that's not a parallelogram. 
This is not a parallelogram because it's not a quadrilateral. It has to be a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram. Okay, parallel to this, parallel to that. That's a parallelogram. Let me say what I just said again, by the way, to you. It has to be a quadrilateral to even be considered as a parallelogram. So there's no reason to even look at this shape to see if it's a parallelogram. It's not a quadrilateral. We're looking at our cues. Parallel, parallel. That's a parallelogram. Okay, parallel, not parallel. These two sides would run into each other about right there. So that's not a parallelogram. And this is not a parallelogram either. We don't really have any parallel sides on that one. So how many parallelograms do we have? One, two, three, four parallelograms. So we're going to put a four here. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with two parallel sides, only two. <clears throat> okay, parallelograms cannot be trapezoids because they're parallel and parallel. How about this shape right here? Parallel, not parallel. One set of parallel sides, one not parallel. That makes it a trapezoid. Let's put a T on that. Okay, how about this one? No, parallel. any parallelogram is not going to be a trapezoid. Not going to be, that's not a quadrilateral. How about this one right here? Parallel, not parallel. That's a trapezoid. So we have two trapezoids. Squares. Squares are squares. It's real easy, just like when you're in kindergarten. I only see one square up here. Four congruent sides, four right angles. It's a square. We have one square. Rectangles are a hard one. <coughs> Excuse me. Rectangles have four right angles. Don't even care about how long the sides are. This has a right angle here, right angle here, right angle here, right angle here. That is a rectangle. Okay, this is not a rectangle because the, the corners are not right angles. Well, this can't be. This is not a rectangle. The corners are not right angles. It's not a quadrilateral. Does this shape have right angles in the corners? Yes, it does. This is a rectangle. It's a square rectangle. It's a rectangle with four congruent sides. Remember, all we care about is are the corners perfectly shaped like the corner of a piece of paper. That's a right angle. That's a rectangle. Okay, none of the rest of these have right angles in the corners, so we have two rectangles. Hexagons have six sides. The X reminds us of that. The number six has an X in it, and hexagons has, a, has an X. And how many shapes do we have up here that have six sides? Well, this has seven sides. Remember me counting that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That one has six sides. I'm going to put a six on that. And none of the other shapes have six sides. Rhombi, uh, a rhombus is a, a square or a diamond. It has to have four congruent sides. This is a rhombus. Okay, I'm going to put, uh, what should we put for rhombus? How about the letter H it says down there? because there's an, a, a weird H in that. So this is a rhombus. It has four congruent sides. How about this one here? That's pretty close to a rhombus, but I think it's a little taller than it is wide. So that's probably not a rhombus. Remember, we're just looking for four congruent sides. It could be a parallelogram that's kind of twisted like this one, to be, and it could still be a rhombus, but the, all the sides have to be congruent. So we have one rhombus, and I'm done with this uh, problem right here. Okay, so here's... Uh, your problem to try on your own independent practice, see if you can go through all the steps. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solutions. Okay, we're going to go real fast through the answers here. First of all, cross out any non-polygons. That's the first step. Any shapes with curves on them. Those are the only two you should have crossed out. Count the rest of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 polygons. Hopefully you got that right. Quadrilaterals have four sides. Doesn't matter what they look like, just four sides. Q, 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 Q. All right, those are all the quadrilaterals. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six quadrilaterals. Parallelograms have to be quadrilaterals where the opposite sides are parallel. That's a parallelogram. This is not. These two sides are not parallel. This is a parallelogram. Parallel there. This is a parallelogram. This is a parallelogram, and this is a parallelogram. One, two, three, four, five parallelograms. Trapezoid. Two parallel, two not. That's a trapezoid. All right, do we see any other shapes up there that are trapezoids? Nope. We got one trapezoid. Squares. One, two. There are two squares up here. Squares are squares. Four right angles, four congruent sides. 
rectangles have to have four right angles. This is a rectangle, has four right angles. This is a rectangle, four right angles. And this is a rectangle, four right angles, three rectangles. Hexagons have six sides. There's a hex, oops, I'm gonna put a six on it for the hexagon. Six on that. Uh, I wonder if any of these other shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is a hexagon. How about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's another hexagon. You always gotta count your sides. So it looks like we have three hexagons and a rhombus is a square or a diamond. And this is gonna be a rhombus, rhombus, because those are both squares. And it looks like we have a diamond right here, four congruent sides. So we have three rhombi. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.